And all we ask of you is that you leave your name, the call letters of the radio station, and the city you're calling from, and perhaps you can get on Science Fantastic. Well, before the break, we had a call. The call came in saying the universe is accelerating in its expansion, and what is causing it? Well, first of all, if I knew the answer, I would get the Nobel Prize in physics. In fact, several years ago, three astronomers actually did win the Nobel Prize for showing that the universe is not just expanding, which even kids know by watching the Big Bang Theory on CBS television, but the universe is actually accelerating. Now, remember, every high school textbook that has a section on astronomy says that, well, yes, the universe is expanding, but it's probably slowing down, so there's probably not much to worry about. Well, we were wrong. The universe is not slowing down. The universe is actually accelerating and speeding up. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean that the universe is careening out of control and will eventually expand into nothingness? Well, we don't know. In fact, we don't even know why it's accelerating. The leading theory, and it's just a theory, the leading theory is that something is pushing the galaxies apart and it's some kind of anti-gravitational force. We think it is the energy of nothing. It's called dark energy, which is the energy of nothing. Even nothingness, the vacuum, has some energy associated with it. And this term was actually introduced by Albert Einstein. It was Einstein himself who first contemplated the fact that even nothing has energy associated with it. But he eventually thought, well, no, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Well, now we know that Einstein's, quote, biggest blunder, introducing the energy of nothing, is perhaps the single most important driving force of the entire universe. And we're clueless at the present time as to what it is. Now, the leading theory of cosmology is called string theory, which is what I do for a living. And string theory does give you an explanation. Ironically, it was gravity that was the first force to be more or less described mathematically by Isaac Newton back in the 1600s. But there was a problem with Newton's equations. When you write down Newton's equations, you realize that gravity spreads infinitely fast throughout the universe. So if the sun were to disappear right now, right now, if the sun were to disappear, it would affect the Earth immediately. We would be hurled into outer space instantly. Well, there's a defect there, and the defect is that there's no mention of the speed of light. 